bringing her to the boxing ring as Mira Potkinen, the oldest athlete in action here at the European Olympic qualification event. So much experience under her belt, 40 years of age now. At the opposite end of the experience spectrum, Caroline Dubois, half her age, just 20 years of age, but so much talent and doesn't know what it's like to lose Alex. Alisha Altaev of Kazakhstan is the referee. So those are the five scoring judges presiding over this one. So we're underway then, women's 60 kilogram lightweight action. Between boxers at opposite ends of the experience spectrum, Mira Potkinen, the 40-year-old from Finland, facing off against Caroline Dubois, the southpaw wearing blue, and she has scored with a good southpaw right jab in the early stages of this first round. Well, it's effective punch picking from the younger boxer wearing blue, showing no fear of the accomplishments or the reputation of Mira Potkinen, tournament number one seed, ranked number two in the world, come to the boxing ring as the reigning world championship bronze medalist, having lost at the semi final of the 2019 event in Yekaterinburg. GB Connor. Asking Dubois to keep her shape. They want her to keep it smart, score long-range shots. Drop lock in and in. She's looking to target that southpaw left once again. Yep. Here's Dubois. Good shots there. She's starting to get a range in her timing now, Dubois. And Potkinen just made it become a little bit disorganised. That's why you saw the referee from Kazakhstan just reminding her as though she needs reminding, giving her experience that she's not to turn her back on her opponent. But my goodness, she re-entered the fray magnificently with a spearing left-right combination. But Dubois took those punches well. Coming forward with a left-right, excuse me, a right-left-right, and the final right hand did get through from Potkinen. Oh, oh now that's a rather dangerous-looking tumble to the canvas by both boxers. Let's hope that they're OK, because there was a headlock in evidence there. Well, like we said earlier on, Southpaw and Orthodox, it often happens. Dubois fallen shot there with the backhand. She's looking to score with that heavy left, left hand there. So Potkinen looking to increase the pressure now, but Dubois looking to bomb away with that backhand out of the southpaw stance. Nice defensive maneuvers yeah. to turn the table tables on Potkinen and put her close to the ropes. Potkinen using her strength to walk Dubois backwards towards the strands on the other side of the ring. Dubois couldn't find the range to get a couple of shots off, though, despite making Potkinen miss quite badly. They take another tumble. Quite a difficult round to score as well, Ron, this first round. There's a problem with the prize head guard yet. Yeah. You can see it's obscuring her vision. So timeout has been called. Dave Alloway called upon to carry out running repairs. Didn't fix the chin strap, though, I don't think. No. Action resumes in the closing stages of yeah. this opening round. An action-packed round. Difficult to score, though. So these were the early stages where yeah. Dubois was able to establish her own straight punches. Yeah, she's just trying to time Potkinen and allow her to like, run onto those shots. But Potkinen, of course, a really experienced campaigner. She's not going to fall into any... Little errors or traps. That was a heavy tumble as well. They took a couple of heavy tumbles. And it's Caroline Dubois who has taken the opening round across the board. 
jab, jab, as she steps in, hit her, go round her. Does that make sense? Yeah. So into the second round then, and having conceded the opening round unanimously, Mira Potkinen in pursuit of her second Olympic berth, having come away with a bronze medal at the Games of Rio 2016 in the 60 kilogram lightweight division, has come out aggressively to begin this second round. As well as that World Championship bronze in 2019, she earned the same prize at the World Champs in 2014, excuse me, in 2016 in Kazakhstan. And now she's looking to bring all that experience oh. to bear, but there's a terrific Czech right hand landed by Dubois, then a left hand out of that southpaw stance. Dubois growing in confidence, timing her opponent magnificently, making her miss and then making her pay, but Potkinen keeps on coming. Yeah, she's found a little bit of rhythm for herself now, Dubois. She looks a lot more comfortable than she did in the first round. And those well-timed counters and putting herself in positions where she can't be hit back from Potkinen. Very, very clever stuff. Oh, Potkinen posing questions in the face of the 20-year-old now, ref. but so far with there. a minute gone. Dubois is answering all of them and then some. Potkinen looking to use all of her experience, every ounce of gazemanship that she can muster, just pinning Dubois to the ropes and leaving her in an untidy space. And look at that, holding, hitting yep. with the free hand to the body. Every veteran's book trick on the edge of the rule book being employed by Potkinen in a bid to disrupt the concentration of Dubois. That's exactly what she's doing. She knows that she cannot let Dubois get into her rhythm. She cannot allow her to start counter-punching, rolling under Potkinen's counters, and then timing her to come back in again. Well, look at that. The head guard was pulled down by Potkinen to obscure the vision of Dubois <laughs> even more. And then Potkinen helped herself to a couple of free punches while she was pinned in the corner. Yep, every trick in the book. She'll be quite happy with herself just now, Potkinen, as well, because she has... Dubois was starting to get into a lovely rhythm there, counter-punching, timing Potkinen on the way in, but that's been disrupted. Let's see if she can pick it back up. Potkinen lands with a decent right hand there. Look at that, both boxers claiming the other around the rear of the neck. Mention the fact that Caroline Dubois is from a fighting family. Her younger brother is an accomplished boxer. Her bigger brother, Daniel, is returning to the ring tomorrow after he suffered his first defeat against the 2016 Olympic silver medalist last time out when Joe Joyce got the better of him. Having Dubois sustain that significant eye injury was unable to finish the contest. Daniel Dubois returns to the ring over the course of the weekend in the UK. Here in Paris, it's his younger sister who currently has centre stage. Good left hand there from Dubois. Well, you'd get the impression that Potkinen has no qualms about making this a scrum and a maul whenever nope. possible. Just trying to show Dubois another side of boxing. Potkinen lands a good right hand, goes for the same shot once again, scores with the left. Now, I think the better boxing there came from Caroline Dubois, particularly in, in the early stages. But my goodness, didn't this woman make it rough the more the round went on? Yep. Dubois at one point was starting to get a lovely rhythm about her boxing. And she was finding a little bit of time in there. She started to look very good. And then Popkin decided that she wasn't going to allow that to happen. And she roughed Dubois up something awful, pulled her head grabbed her at the waist, tied her arms up, pushed her out the ring, threw her to the ground. So, Potkinen taking it for Judge 1. It's all square on the card of that particular observer. 19 points apiece for Judges 2, 3, 4 and 5. Dubois with a two-round edge, two-point edge, 20 points to 18. Beautiful right jab to start the third and final round as Potkinen, in pursuit of her second Olympic place, comes out aggressively, but look at the poise. Young Caroline Dubois is showing, boxing and moving, and proving that she is not going to be roughed up by Potkinen. Good start from Dubois. She has to stay switched on, though. Good counter-punch there. Lovely counter-right hook there, and a slip under. Potkinen's left hook. 
And in many respects, Caroline Dubois, who has known nothing but success, five English national titles, two British titles throughout the age classification ranks, as well as that Youth Olympic Games success that I commentated on in Buenos Aires in 2018, as she's just being worked over by the roughhouse tactics of Potkinen once again. And look at this. Well, you said she had to remain switched on, Alex, and she has been Dr. Point for holding. So now Caroline Dubois can score no more than nine in this round. Even if she is given it on the scorecards of all five judges, it will be 10 minus one. She has got to work furiously in a bid to try and take this round. She's leading by 20 points to 18, but now a point could come off the other way, which would even things up in oh. the point warning stakes. And it's been that type yep. of contest, Alex. So That's now, deserved, John. That's deserved. Most certainly, because it's been six of one and half a dozen of the other. But make no mistake, it's Potkinen <laughs> yeah. who is initiating oh, these definitely. rough house tactics. Dubois looking to defend herself by responding in kind. But look at that, a shot on the break from Potkinen. My goodness, this one resembling a barroom brawl more than an Olympic-style boxing match. But Potkinen lands a solid right hand and another one, which just causes Dubois to become a little bit disorganized. A minute to go, and this the sternest test of young Caroline Dubois' career. She has known nothing but success, champion of everything that has been available to her on the global, continental and national stage all at the youth level she's still only 20 years of age but here she is in amongst the big dogs fighting for a place in Tokyo 2020 well she's demonstrating terrific character in the face of this marauding Whoa. assault from Mira Potkin and is Caroline Dubois remember both boxers have been doctor points so whoever wins it will be 10 minus one whoever's declared the loser in this round it will be whatever score there is, minus one. And given that context, oh, good a shot beautiful from Dubois counter there. right, excuse me, beautiful right hand landed by Dubois. Caroline Dubois on the cusp of progressing through to the quarterfinals. Good flurry to the body as well from Dubois. Not been all her fault here. So closing stages of this round. What a contest we have witnessed. My goodness, you get the impression that Caroline Dubois had to give everything to keep this experienced operator at bay. But Caroline Dubois receiving words of encouragement from Dave Alloway and Lee Pullen from behind their face coverings here at this tournament, which is being conducted in COVID safe conditions, but Potkinen gave absolutely everything. My goodness, wasn't she a rough customer? Yeah, she certainly was. And she was out there to upset Dubois timing and her rhythm. She just went out there to spoil and drag Dubois into a barroom brawl, like you said earlier, and she wasn't successful. Dubois was able to keep her where she had to in the end. So let's get the announcement. We think Caroline Dubois is through to the quarterfinals. False results. The winner on points by a unanimous decision. In the blue corner, representing Great Britain. What a moment for Caroline Dubois. The 20-year-old from London is just one win away from Tokyo 2020. And look at what it means to her. She acknowledges the arena here at Le Grand Dome because that surely the sternest test of her career. The 2016 Olympic bronze medalist, the two-time world championship bronze medalist.